begin by going up to the menu at the top. Let's click on File and then go down to Open Scene. So I'm going to open up Interactive Split Tool.ma. All right, so I have a whole bunch of different objects here, and I'm just going to click on this object that's uh, kind of closest to the bottom here, and then I'll press F. The Interactive Split Tool allows us to add in new edges where we need them. So if I'm looking at this object right here, I've got a whole bunch of four-sided polygons or four-sided faces here. But then right here, I've got a rectangle, and this has six sides. And what I want to do is I want to add in an edge here, going from this section here to this section over here. And by doing that, I can now maintain a mesh that has all four-sided polygons. The reason that you want four-sided polygons on your models when you're doing any type of 3D work is that the four-sided polygon model, if you have four sides on all your polygons over the whole mesh, you get the smoothest, cleanest, best-looking result. Okay. So let's go ahead and use the uh, Interactive Split tool. Make sure that you're on the Polygons module up here. So make sure that this says Polygons right here. Then you're going to go to Edit Mesh, and then you'll pull down to Interactive Split Tool. Okay. You'll notice your cursor changes, and now when you move your cursor over the object, you can see that there's a little orange um, square that's snapping to certain areas on your object. Okay. What we want to do is we want to snap to this part right here, because this is where we have this edge and these two edges meeting, and there's one vertex right there. So I'll click once right here, and then I'll go over to the other side, and you can see it's snapping right over here to the other side, and we want to snap and click right here where these three edges meet here. So I've just clicked, and now it's showing me a preview of this new edge. And then I'll press the return key, and that will finish the uh, edge. Um, it will complete the edge. And now we have a mesh or an object that has all four-sided polygons. All right, let's go to the next pattern over here. Right, I'll click on this object, and I can press G, and that's going to bring up the last tool that I used. Okay, so now you can see my. I just pressed the G key on the keyboard, and now I've got my interactive split tool. And I'll start right here, and I'll click once. I'm going to jump over to the other side. I don't need to click here. I can actually cross over that. And then I'll click over here where these three edges meet. And you can see it's giving me a preview. It's detecting this edge over here, and it's putting a red dot there. It's telling, it's telling me that it knows that there's an edge there. So I'll just press return, and that's going to finish off the edge. Okay, And I can check and make sure that this new edge is connected to this edge by clicking on this vertex. And I can move it up. You can see it is, in fact, connected. Okay, So I'll press Z to undo right click, go to object mode, and I'll go over here to this pattern. So I'll go up to edit mesh and then go to uh, interactive split tool right here and I'll start right here. Click once and then go to the other side and I'll click again and then I'll press return. Now I want to bring up that same tool so I'm going to press G and I'll click right here and then I'll just skip this and go all the way to the other side here. Click and then I'll press return. And now we've finished creating our edges for this pattern. So let's go over here. I'll press F on the keyboard to frame this. So I'll go up to Edit Mesh, Interactive Split Tool. And right here, I'm just going to start over here. You can start on this side, either side. I'll click. And I'm going to skip over all three of these edges and go all the way to the end, where we need that final the line to end. So I'll click and then I'll press return. And then I'll press G for my last tool. I'll start right here. And I'm going to go straight across. And now there's no vertex at the end right here. There's no other edge like coming this way meeting. But the split tool knows the center of this line. So it's going to snap to the center in between this vertex and that vertex. It knows the center. So I'll just click it's going to give me a preview of all the other vertices here. And it's, what that means is it's connecting all those lines. So I'll press return, and we've got our new edge in there. I'm going to press G, and I'll start here. Go to the opposite side, click, press return. 
over here I'll press G I'll start on this end skip over these edges and go all the way to the destination and press I'll just click once and I'll press return all right so now we've kind of gone through the the easy ones and now let's take a look at this shape right here we have a, an eight-sided face here so let's go ahead and select this and I'm gonna go up to edit mesh and then interactive split tool and I'm gonna come in here and I'll just choose a corner so I can see I'm out of corner when this little orange square pops up I'll click once alright I'll jump to the other side and go straight across you don't want to um, go this way or this way you want to go straight across so that means we're gonna have four edges on each side so I'll click once I'll press return it's gonna finish that line I'm gonna press G and I'll go from this side straight across and I'll press return okay now you might you know have this inclination to continue to split but you don't want to do that because we want to have four sides and right now if you count these one two three four each one of these has four sides so you wouldn't want to continue to split this because then you'd have triangles and we're trying to avoid triangles alright so let's uh, move on to the next pattern so this might look a little bit overwhelming but what we can do is I'll just go to edit mesh and then interactive split tool I'll click here and go to here okay I'll press return and I'll do the same thing on the other side so now what I've done is I've created a four-sided polygon in the middle here so over here we still have uh, one polygon here that has a whole bunch of sides uh, on both of these sides but what we can do is we can just start to eliminate certain sections so I'll press G I'll start here and go over to this side I'll press return I'll press G and do the same thing on this side so now I've got a four-sided polygon here and one here and one over here this is four sides this is four sides so we're slowly eliminating our um, polygons that have more than four sides so I'll press G and I'm going to start here and go to this side press return I'll do the same thing over here press return alright so here now we have additional four-sided polygons here I'll press G and we just need to do this one more time once over here and once over here and now we've got these are all four sides all this stuff is four sides and then if you look carefully this looks like a triangle but it's got one two three four sides to that face same over here in this corner and that corner alright so I'm gonna hit A on the keyboard and let's just tumble so that you can see all of the patterns or all the different objects and then make sure that you save this work and send a copy of this work to the Dropbox for credit